Uh, just give me your spiel on Kevin Miller and just basically um, how did you hear about it when it, you you was relative? So of course you heard about it. Well, I can say this much about Kevin: when Percy went to play ball at U of H, he was in Houston playing ball out there. It's like Kevin stayed at home. I think he he, he was playing ball at Southern University of New Orleans, Suno, and we were close. Like I would come from Morgan City and go to the Cali and visit my cousins. And I was real tight with, with especially those two. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. You think back to King George and all those days, the early on days, uh, even when we talked to Silk, we talked about uh, Kevin Miller, their brother that passed away, because early on that was a campaign that, Basically, the the R.I.P. Kevin Miller, you know, that was the thing because I thought that they had left uh, after he passed away, but they uh, they say still say they have, was in Richmond already yeah. when he when he passed when he got killed. How? But, but I want to go back to Kevin because, I, like I said, for some reason I'm always interested because with y'all earlier music that was the whole that was the whole thing just keeping his name alive. Mm -hmm. um, when you got the call, because I thought you was down there, I'm telling you, and I thought y'all left because I just, I just, can't, I just we was going back and forth, back so, and forth. Y'all, yeah. how long had y'all been out here when that happened? That part I don't know. I can't. You don't even know. Nah. But I know he hit me like a ton of bricks, though. I was like, sheesh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Being your brother, definitely. Yeah. And he was younger than you, older. Mm -hmm. uh, he was younger than me. No, you know, Kev was young. Kev was older than me. He was, he was right, old. right behind Pete. He was right under Pete. So you, you, he was the middle one. Mm, now we had four. We had um. Four of us boys and one girl. I didn't even know that. And, you know, like I said, I just know Kevin it because y'all put him in the music. Y'all, yeah, yeah, yeah. y'all made that happen with me because yeah, yeah, yeah. everybody that come on on my my podcast. Mm -hmm. I always ask about Kevin because that was the that was the campaign. You know what I mean to keep his name alive. So, do you feel like he'd be proud of where you guys are at now? Yeah, yeah, that was our motivation, man. For a while, it was like um, Kev was a real good, solid dude too, man. Like as a as a big brother. What nothing he wouldn't do. Um, he'll try to, his best to. I say, oh, I need this jacket. He'll go get it. Mm -hmm. He'll hustle to get it. Whatever. Yeah, he's, he was solid. So he, when he lost him, it was it was tough for all of us for sure. Wow. Yeah. Do you ever get over it? Nope. Could you uh, just give me your spiel on Kevin Miller and just basically um, how did you hear about it when it, you you was relative? So of course you heard about it. Well, I can say this much about Kevin. When Percy went to play ball at U of H. He was in Houston playing ball out there. It's like Kevin stayed at home. I think he, he, he was playing ball at Southern University of New Orleans, Suno. And we were close. Like I would come from Morgan City and go to the Cali and visit my cousins. And I was real tight with, with especially those two and their sister Jermaine, you know all their uncles and stuff from Marvin Anthony, their dad, Big Percy. So, uh, but I was there, I was going to suit on myself, you know, and uh, when I would go to school, sometime I would get off, you know, or if I was at another school, Nickel State, I was going to Nickel State as well. So I would go sometime on the weekends to go with my fraternity brothers and then I would stop in the Calio Percy, he was already in Houston, going to U of H, but that left Kevin in the Calio. Me and Kevin used to hang out all the time. We used to kick it and, you know, do cousin things. So Kevin was a real serious person. He he had jokes, you know what I'm saying? He was, he was pretty much, I would say, peas, they, 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 they're about a year apart. You know what I'm saying? So he was peas, you know, other side. You see what I'm saying? This dude had a had a savvy about him. He had a charisma about him, and um, just I'm just gonna say I miss him, man. Because the more I talk about him, you know what I'm saying, the, mm -hmm. the more emotionally get. I remember when I got when I called. I, I, I got to share this moment. Um, I called the Calio, called his house that he was staying with that he was staying at, and his uncle answered the phone. His uncle Anthony. And I asked for Kevin. And his, his uncle said, 
my name is Raymond. You know, it's my real name, Raymond. He said, Raymond, this Raymond? I said, yeah, this Raymond. He said, you ain't hear about it? He said, Kevin died. Mm. I said, what? How, where, who, what, when, what? I said, man, Kevin got killed. And, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, just to hear that, you know, he was so young, full of capabilities and, you know, I'll never forget that when I when I called looking for him, mm-hmm. and when I got the news from his uncle, where he, at the house that he was staying at, that he had passed away, and then a couple of weeks later, well a week later, we went to the funeral. That's when I saw Percy, and that's a, Romeo was a little boy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, Romeo was holding he was holding he was holding Romeo in his hand. You know what I'm saying? And he, you know, P was tough. He's tough. You yeah. know what I'm saying? He was tough, man, and, and P, you know, he was looking at his brother, and he told Romeo, "They'll be." The, I think Romeo, Romeo had to been about two or something like that. So you see your uncle, you know what I'm saying? Wow. Like it, it was, it was crazy, man. So wow. yeah, man. So that's my family, man. You know, real talk. No, so uh, rest in peace, Kevin rest Miller. Rest in man. peace, Love Kevin Miller, man. man. Dude, I man. just used to hear P when he say. Kevin Miller, he he would say that on songs so much, and I loved his music so much that I would always, in every interview, I always ask that question because his his method early on during that time when he was putting the music out was to keep his brother's name keep alive. Keep his name alive. Oh, no, he gonna, he going to make people the world He was going to make them feel Kevin, Kevin Miller, Miller, and I was one of those guys that caught that. Mm-hmm. And I caught it, and since I've been doing this show, when, since I've been dealing with y'all, I always ask that question. Silk just gave me his spiel. Silk told me how he would look out for him and stuff. Yeah, he was man. always remember. You remember Silk talking about it, and that's that's what make us who we are. Because I remember those spots. Because I lost my uncle, um, my daddy's brother, uh, when he was thirteen. He was dead, and I went and found him. You know, wow, when so he man. was dead. You know, I was thirteen, and he might have been twenty three, twenty two. My uncle Hut. And I went in the room and found him. You know what I mean. And mm-hmm. and I always think about being young and dying young, and uh, just just those things that I went through, losing friends and losing friends that I was hustling in the streets with. So I know this is real, and I know already those people that I'm talking about now. I always want to keep their names alive. You know the the, mm-hmm. re- the family relatives. Then I mean, we found those letters in my dad's mm-hmm. house. Wow. Of people who had passed but wrote letters to one another. <laughs> so stuff like that just touched my heart. So the Kevin Deep. Miller thing, it, 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 it'll always be on this show. Like I do Pimp C the same way. I'll always do that. Do you feel that um, when you lose people like that, like you're talking about, you know, finding someone that, you know, not everybody experienced something like that. Um, do you feel like that affects you mentally even as years go by? Sometimes when you're younger, you don't think subconsciously it might. But as you get older, you learn to realize certain things. Oh, that's why that affected me. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So do you think that you were affected by well, seeing something really, like that? I, don't, I, don't, I was tough, man. I seen a lot of deaths. I seen a lot of deaths. I seen a lot of dying. I lived in the projects in Vegas. You would see niggas die. You, I was young. My daddy got shot in the head when I was a kid. In the gambling shack, the same place. Oh, he my, lived. Well, yeah, he lived. Wow. Uh, and used to keep the bullets in his pocket. And and my uh, my other my my his brother died, got killed in that same gambling shack. Wow. And my other uncle, he burnt that shack down. But it's like I always remember these stories, and then coming up, seeing people get shot, seeing people get killed. That was a part of life. So mm-hmm. I just you start becoming numb to it. See, you know, being a part of it. When the 90s, when the drugs hit the scene, you start being a part of it if you're in the streets. Mm-hmm. So now you are used to seeing people get killed. You now seeing it and it don't affect you and you you cool with die, with death. When you turn 35 on up, you go to a lot of funerals. Oh, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. But through it all, you start to understand that this is a process in life, right? Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.